Welcome back to another video. This is Venice Legacy. A tío, a tío. Alright guys, so um, today's video is gonna be one of those videos where I just um, speak my mind. Um, how you guys know, something that I'm doing right now, I'm, uh, I'm buying some apartments in the city, right? And how I mentioned before, in the future, some something that I want to do is that uh, I want to build my own home in, in, in El Campo, right? How you guys know, I love El Campo and that's my shit. <laughs> the Campo lifestyle. Um, and uh, while I was, you know, thinking uh, about all those goals and all that, those plans that I have in my head, something just, you know, just kind of just kind of hit me. And it is that... Um, Guys, when I created this channel, it was, of course, more, um, you know, to expose the bullshit that's going on with Dominicans and all that. But one of the main reasons was to um, get to the Dominicans. So, um, in the future, you know, we can network, do things for the island, right? Um, something that I have, plan that I have, is basically within within the next 10 years, um, I want to retire back. In, I want to go back to the land, you know, to the land. And um, that's the reason why, you know, I want to build things down there. And while I was, you know, thinking of, you know, like, what do I want in DR and all that? Something that, you know, got in my head was that, like, every time, you know, that I make a video, we talk about issues going on in DR. We always, you know, talk about uh, going back to our root, right? That's that's something that we always uh, mention. That we have to go back to our roots, that we have to go back. Now... It is true that we have to go back, but talking about it, just talking about it, it's not gonna do a thing. At the end of the, at the end of the day, everything is all about action, right? Um, and you know what? What I was thinking and all that, something that really got in my head as well is that we're not gonna get to everybody. We need to understand that, like we we all see the thing, the way things are going in the art as well when it comes to the music uh, that's playing the radio every time. How people are behaving as well. Like I know here in the States is way worse. But we see what's going on in the arts world, right? And we're not going to get to everybody. We're not going to change everybody, right? But what's something that we can do? That's the question. So what can we do? Um, let's say if, if in the future, right? Uh, this is just a vision, guys. <laughs> but let's say in the future, within, within the next 10 years, right? A lot of us Dominicans get together here from here, right? And we start buying land in DR. Now, let's say this. DR, the, uh, DR is a developing country, right? So, the good thing about a developing country is that we can do our own thing. We can do what we want. You need to understand, guys. The Dominican Republic, if you got money, not crazy money, just some money. Average money. It's a kingdom. Especially if you're Dominican, right you need to understand you need to you, you, as a dominican you need to see dominican as a as a kingdom for us dominicans right now you see how in punta cana right some dominicans got together and they built like a gated community right now that's in the city right and that's that's in a tourist area what i want to do is something like this what if if some of us, let's say 50 of us, or maybe in the future, 100 of us get together, we start buying land and we and we um, build a, our own village in the Dominican Republic, right? Like campus style. Because I know a lot, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, uh, some of you guys want to do, us, which I want to do as well, is basically grow my own food, um, you know, go we, going back to the basics, going back how where everything started right um so something that i want is basically you know have a big yard so i can you know have my horses <laughs> you know my dogs you know my family i can grow my own food because we need to understand something right we all see what's going on in this country right we all see how this country is going down the drain from within so something that we can do if you want to we not gonna we, we won't be able to change everybody but we can be the change that we want to see meaning let's create our own gated community campus style right because it's way cheaper you know to build a home like this i'm not saying it's this exact home i'm just showing you know an example because obviously if i if i got if i if i do something like this it's gonna be more modern more upgraded but i want to keep it simple like i like the city just to make money 
but I want to live in El Campo, right? So now let's say if 50 of us get together, because Dio has a lot of land, and we build our own communities. We do our own laws. The people that get in there is the people that we allow to get in there. Uh, and we basically run the show however we want it. Because if you got money, you know, in the end, you can do whatever you want. All right? Because at, at the same time, guys, um, we need to start thinking. We need to get to reality that everything is with money and everything is investment. If you're a Dominican and you're a proud Dominican, you need to start investing in the art. I'm not gonna get, you know, I'm not gonna keep saying the same thing so everybody can get it. If you're a proud Dominican, you need to start investing in the Dominican Republic. You can be a proud Dominican and um, not doing, and not be doing anything for DR. Like that's basically old talk, no action. That's what we call it, right? You need to start investing in DR. You know, this is not something that I'm doing right at this moment. This is something that probably I will start doing this maybe within the next two years. You know, that's how I'm gonna start the process. Of doing something like this but you know i was thinking that what if a lot of dominicans from here we get together and we build you know our own village right um and we do it like um hold on i'm gonna show you guys some pictures so yeah i can see something real quick right because you know everything is money now why do i like el campo because in El Campo, especially if a lot of us get together, no one is going to bother you. You are away from the city. You can do whatever you want with the land. You can have a really beautiful home, guys. It's all about investing and all that. Like, for example, you see this right here? Obviously, none of you are going to go live there. I know that. But you think about this. What if you take this home down and you just upgrade it? Right? And then what are you going to have? Just look. Imagine a beautiful home just there. And those are things that we can do, guys. Like, if we all get together, the Dominican Republic can be our kingdom. Because everything is there, guys. Everything's there. And just let me tell you something. If we don't do it, someone else is going to do it. Okay? So, and another thing, too, is basically, um, you know, what's, like, what, what's, what's going to be our legacy? You know, what are we leaving for the next generation? Nothing. So you're going to tell me that the Dominican from the past, you know, they fought wars and all that. They fought for this, they fought for that. And we just here doing nothing. So our legacy is going to be nothing. No, we have to act. We have to start making shit happen. You know, something that I know I always mention is how Chief is in the yard right now. And he's remodeling the house of his great-grandfather. You know, he's, he's keeping his heritage alive. His, his, his legacy, his, his grandfather's legacy. That's something that we can do as well. If we all get together, guys, especially in the art, we can have like our own communities. You know, so let's take a look at this, for example. Imagine if you take that home down. Some of you might even like it like that. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a really simple guy, guys. I don't really need a lot. But if you got family and all that, you know, we got to be more. Um, But let's say something like this. Because this is something that I'm looking for. I want like a small house and a big ass yard. That's something that I want where I can, you know, hide my horses, you know, grow my food in the back, you know, do all those things. Because that's something that I want to do. I want to go back to our roots. I want to raise my kids in a place that I've had control of, you know, that I, I, I don't want to raise my kids in this country. Like, I don't want that. That's not what I'm aiming for. I don't want to do that. Because I want to go back. Now, it's time for us to go back and build what was left for us to finish. Okay. So you see that, you know, like, yeah, that's the life that I like. I think that I can have all the money in the world and I'm always going to go back to a simple life. I always like that. And I've been noticing that, that the more money I make, the more simpler I get. Like, I don't like wearing chains or big expensive watches. I'm not that type of guy. And the more money I make, I, it's something that I've been saying that money is not going to change me. And I know that because the more money I make, the simpler I get. You know, like three years ago, when I had less money than what I have now, I was not thinking of doing this. But now I want to do that because I want to go back to our roots. And that's something that we can do. Like We can do a lot of beautiful things in the yard. But what? You need money. You, We need money to do that, right? Right? You take a look at this.
right? Take a look at this. And we can have, guys, we can do our own things, you know? And let's say this, if we have a village, our own village with our own things, right? It's going to be gated, of course. And if we have it, like, and if we have that, like, really, you know, uh, if we keep that really clean and really, you know, beautiful and green and all this and that, people will pay money just to go visit and see it. And if you do something like this, guys, this is going to catch so much attention because what people are going to say, how come young men or young people from the, the, the diaspora are investing in El Campo when everybody's running from El Campo? <laughs> people are forgetting about El Campo. And this is the so this is the right time for us to go back to El Campo. Now you might say, oh yeah, but um, uh, I I can't live there or or year round. Perfect, but still build it, build your home, and how it there for when you go? God, building something like this is way expensive. I mean, way uh, cheaper than um buying an apartment or building an apartment down there in the island, especially if you're trying to build something in the capital or close to a tourist area. This is way cheaper. But it, but it's, it's way cheaper, and you can have a better lifestyle. You know, like I you know I can picture like my home, something you know, obviously more modern than this, but with a big yard and trees everywhere. I'm going back, guys. I'm going back to basics. I'm going back where everything started, right? Look at this. This is this catch my attention because this is in Punta Cana, right? And they have like this little home. Like campus style, and people just go because of that. Really colorful, how you see. People just go there so they can have, so they can take pictures in there because of the way it looks. Now imagine if we have a whole village <laughs> with a hundred families, everything looking really colorful, you know, really nice and clean. People will pay just to go there and take pictures. If you wanna, you know, if you are looking for money, you see. How I say, guys, you know, that's what I want. I want something like this. Have my horses, my kids playing out in the field. I'm going back. Now, if we make that happen, right? If we are the change that we want to see, you know what's going to happen now? People are going to follow our steps. Because we did it. Because some people, they just need the... They just need the extra push. They just need the push, right? But if they see other people doing it, we can do it. And this is for any Hispanic watching this video, guys. The Dominican Republic is for everybody. Any Hispanic is watching this and is thinking of doing it. Hey, Phoenix, I'm not Dominican, but I want to do it. Oh, jump in. Don't worry about it. Jump in. Two weeks from now, you're going to be Dominican. <laughs> you know, especially if you're Hispanic because we have similar cultures, right? But that's something that, you know, that I really want to do. And we can make this happen. So, you know, but just like, let me just share this idea. Maybe, you know, see what you guys think about it. Because, guys, if we do this, this can be our legacy. We have to do something for our homeland. Right? We have to we have to start doing something. What are we living for the next uh, generation? Was it, again, I'm asking the same question. What's going to be your legacy? Nothing. You're a proud Dominican and your legacy within the Dominican culture is nothing? No. You have to do something for the island. You have to live something for the next generation. And this guy, this is not a lot of money. This this is actually really cheaper. Way, I mean, this is way cheaper than investing in the city. And here, guys, we can have our own rules because we're building a new community. You can say it's all new, all gated, everything. If we can do that, whatever we want, whatever we want. You know, we can do that. Um, Everything that we talk about, that we want to see, we can have it there. And uh, that's what people did before, if you think about it. When there were no cities, you know what happened? When there was like nothing there, well, there was all land. and all. Guys, you know what? Let me, this is, let me just go crazy. Dubai was, Dubai was just an idea as well. Just keep that in mind. Dubai was just an idea. And look at the, the, what Dubai is now. Obviously, we're not going to do the next Dubai, but you guys know what I mean. You know, so... In every in every city that you're living at right now, there was nothing there at some point. But what happened? Men got together, people got together, and they built a whole you know they built a city where you're living right now. So this is the same thing that I want to do in the Dominican Republic, but in the campo, and we can make it happen. We can really make it happen, guys. 
but it's all about you know getting together, networking, and um, putting action, uh, putting some action, putting some work. Because we can talk about a problem, which is fine, but talking and talking and talking and talking, that's not gonna get nothing done. At the end of the day, it's about action. And you know, this is something that I'm gonna do regardless <laughs> if people wanna do it or not. But you know, I was like, you know what? Why not share this information? Because this is this is we can do this within the next ten years. Keep in mind, within the next ten years, you're gonna pay eighty thousand dollars. Or you know what? Let's get crazy, a hundred thousand dollars. But that's it within ten years. That's nothing if you think about it. And you can have your own spot, you can have your homeland, you can have you, you start growing your own food. That is called going back to the basics. You know, and because if we have I said again, if you if you want to if you want to see the change, sometimes let's be the change that we want to see. You know, let, let's bring something to the Dominican Republic, something that no one is doing. You know, especially this way. So it might let's say this, let's say if you have a big yacht, right? And you have something like this but more modern. What if in the back of the house you, you, you fucking um build a whole pool? You know how nice it's gonna look? Cause no one is doing this. Nobody's doing this. You know, and, and this is something that we can do if we get together. You know, and there's a lot of land right now in the yard and we can make this happen. Let's build things. Cause that's at the end of the day that's our job as men, to build communities and build things for our families. You know? What's, what's the point of, of, of a man, of you being a man, if you're really not doing anything to um, to help and take your family and your people to the next level? Take your country to the next level. You know what they said, God, family, and country. You know, those, those are the values that I lived. God, family, and country. You know? And um, you don't have to live there all the time if you love this country, which is fine. I know a lot of you might be second generation, third generation, but which is fine. No problem with that. But just build something in the yard. And if you start making this happen, and if you're from the States and you're a Dominican who, who has no idea what's going on, if you make this happen, just call us. You know, let, let's say, and we help you, you know, it, it will help you, you know, um, get in the process. Because this is something that if we can get, if we get together, we can make this happen. Because I'm pretty sure if you start doing it, three people start doing it now, then four and five, a lot of people are going to do it. If we um, open the way for a lot of people, a lot of Dominicans to invest, we're gonna do that. We're gonna help. We're gonna help. We're gonna help each other out. Cause it's three people start before you know we have three hundred families on a beautiful village, gated. Only the people who are gonna get in there are the people that we are allowed to get in there. You know, and um, this is you know this is something that I was thinking, guys. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. And, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section about this. Um, yeah, uh, this is, you know, this, this is just one of those days when I just speak my, uh, speak my mind. And, um, again, this is something, guys, that we can make it happen. You know, going back to our family values. Because this is, this is what it's showing in this country. Like I said in my other videos, I don't want to raise my kids in this country because I see what's going on. You saw my last video. You saw my last video. How they really want men to be your feminine and all that. When now is the time that men have to be strong. And where is a man get strong in the campo? <laughs> you know, like my kids, they're gonna, they're gonna earn the money. They're gonna have money, but they're gonna earn it. You know, that's gonna be my kids playing with the dog in the field, with the horses. You know, like, and that's what I want, you know. And I think that's where, in the campo is where men are made. Change my mind, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, man. Let's go back to our roots, man. Let's make it happen. I think this is a great idea, guys. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comic section. Yeah.